Welcome everyone to our October toolkit. We are sort of winding down this month. We're actually on our last day of the Western calendar of the month of October, but it's the dog month. So we know that it actually goes into a couple of other days into actually all of next week. We're still in the dog month. So we still can use these energies that are going to help release and let go of things that are no longer serving us. So let's get started. If you're new to our community, hi, my name is Kathleen horvath Zamansky. I'm a business feng shui master, astrologer, and the creator of the Time Blazer Business Management System. Today is our Q&A, Ask Us Anything. And we've got a couple of questions, but of course you can ask them live as well if you'd like to just go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And if we see them while we're broadcasting live, we will certainly answer them. And if not, we'll get to them at another video. Now I'd like to introduce my um, wonderful, amazing assistant, Alice. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do for this amazing. Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Alice, and um, I basically do everything on the back end of Five Elements Group um, from... I don't know, just about everything. 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 <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. Yeah. And we we have a, a very nice um, working situation. You know, we, we actually started this way in this virtual wor world just because mm -hmm. of geography that it just didn't make sense for you to commute to me. And we found a way early on to work right. in a platform. So we're, we're actually worked. quite fortunate. We're actually right. quite fortunate. So, um, okay. So, Let's just talk about what what uh, we have discussed over this last month. We started at the beginning of October, and every every week, how we set this up was person, space, time, universe, and then the Q and A. So the person is about your business astrology that gives you the roadmap of what's going on in your life currently and what lies ahead. And then Tuesdays we talked about the space, which is feng shui, that's helping you achieve your goals. Wednesdays we did time blaze. Laser, and then that was mapping out the week ahead with using the time blazer as a way of doing your important activities during the best times of the week. And there were some really great times this week, as well mm -hmm. as avoiding the pitfalls of any particular day or time. Even if it's on a good day, you want to make sure you're hitting those really good time zones. And then on Thursdays, we do a meditation, which is called Universal Gateway. It's Qi Min Dun Jia in Chinese, if you are familiar with that term. But basically, we were using our bodies as the antenna to receive that energy and manifest. And we really worked on releasing and letting go. Highly recommend uh, listening to at least Thursday for that piece of it. And then here we are for Q&A. So let's look at our first uh, question for the day. And basically, this is an astrology question. So what I would like for you to do, if you're, if you would like to kind of follow along, go to freebusinessastrology.com. And then you can get a chart that looks a little bit, well, it's going to look very much like this, but it's going to be with your personal information in there. And okay, so we're going to go to the first question. And the first question, go ahead and read that out for us, Alice. Sure. So the first question is, how can I avoid the clash between the rabbit and the rat? My destiny cycle is an ox and my birth month is an ox, but they clash with the rabbit and the horse. In right. two why, don't we, years, why, do, why don't we start, oh, why don't we start there? Okay. Let's answer one at a time because there's a lot in that question. So first of all, um, what I'm going to, I don't have the, I don't have the birth information, so I can only answer a question based on the data that that I have. And so this is, and maybe this person asked a question before, we do not keep that type of information stored. So a question's asked and then we, re, we release it. So anyway, so I'm going to just go by what she asked in the question. And what we need to do first is uh, go to the time blazer. And the time blazer is a a favorable timing system. Again, we talk about this on Wednesday. We're at this date right here. But what we really, what she really wants to find out is something about her astrology. Now, this is, this is, 
you know, our, our demo site here. So this is this person's astrology, but she's talking about something that had happened that she said, I believe there was a month of birth that was there. And then her current luck cycle. And this is where you go to this, uh, row kind of below, you know, the five structures and the archetypes, but just go here where it says current cycle for you just to follow along. But what we're going to do to find out some information is I'm going to actually have you go over to the training tab. In the training tab, even with the free 30-day trials, you'll be able to have access to all of these training videos, the guidebooks, which I highly recommend you take a peek at. But this is a table that I actually pulled out of one of the guidebooks because it is such a fantastic um table to be looking at. So first of all, what I would do if I were you, and this is how, you know, you can play along by just looking at this particular table. So the first thing I want to let the, um, this person know is it is not a clash between a rat and a rabbit. And how do we find that out? So, so here is the rat and then we go down to the rabbit. And if you would go over to the rabbit, you would also see that the rat is here because, you know, it's rat and, and rabbit um, uh, influencing each other. So with that said, it's not a clash. It's a punishment. A punishment is very different from a clash. A clash is when two animals of opposing polarity, so it would be more like a rat and a horse or a rabbit and a rooster. So the clashes are on this line right here. All you have to do is look at the four animals that are in your natal chart, up to four. You may have doubles, so then it would be the same information. And look at that current luck cycle that you're in and see the relationship with the animals that you have. So again, let's start with what is a clash because she thinks it's a clash. It is not a clash. So maybe, you know, understanding how to even handle when these animals come up that you're going to have a better outcome if you really know the true essence of it. So when will these animals show up? Well, they're going to show up in any given month. Every month is the name of one of the 12 animals of the Zodiac. Therefore, throughout the year, you're going to go through combinations, three harmonies, clashes, punishments, destructions, and harms of all the animals in your chart. So knowing what these mean is going to help you strategize better on how to you know, make better outcomes for yourself. When you know that something is a combo or three harmony, most likely it will benefit your chart. But again, it depends on what's in your chart because what one pillar is saying is a combination might be a clash in another pillar. So you have to look at all, you have to look at everything that's involved in the chart and then you can go, oh, okay, with this particular animal, I've got, you know, a combo, but I also have a destruction. So you have to look at both sides of the equation. So a clash, going back to what that means, is a clash means that you are going to lose something. It's going to clash you out of um, a situation. Now, that may sound horrible, but sometimes the universe is actually trying to help you um, live your chart to the fullest. So a clash can be uncomfortable, but when you see it coming, you can make some decisions about, and let's use, this is probably the easiest one, let's use your year of birth. Let's, let's assume that you have a clash, and let's just use the ox um, as the example. So a clash to because um, we're in the ox year, the clash is going to be a goat. So if it's in your year of birth, then that means that you're probably going to be changing um, your networking, the way that you're networking, your social circles, who you are um, choosing to hang out with and things like that. I look at this as like, hallelujah, I get to up level the people that I am going to be surrounding myself with. I'm going to get rid of the people that are dry, you know, dragging me down. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying if they are, if it's, if it's a one way street and they're the ones that are taking you down, 
and this has been like over time, this is not because of a certain incident that just arose and you go, oh, you know what? I don't have time for that because they're, and you fill in the blank. If it's a temporary situation, be a good friend. But if it's a constant thing where it's just over and over, just trying to pull you away from doing your best good, maybe it's time to bring out the pruning shears, get rid of the people that are taking you down and start hanging around people that will bring you up. So that's an easy one. Some of the other ones along the way, I, we don't have time obviously to go through each and every one of the, the um, clashes with all the animals, but you can use this table to get a good idea. All right, so what is a rabbit and a rat? So let's just look at the rabbit and the rat. We look at the rat and the rat, rat, rabbit is a punishment. So a punishment, many times it does feel like you're being punished. You like, you, oh, you did bad, you, you know, that's not good. So you really do feel that punishment. And a lot of times we do it to ourselves. We know we're not supposed to do something and yet we continue to take action. We knew that, you know, that was not probably the best way you could have handled a situation, then it's going to come back to you and you're going to feel as though that you are punished. So it's, 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 it's something that's not, not so fun, right? Okay. And then it says the destiny cycles in the ox, my birth, um, birth month is in the ox. So she's got two ox, which I'm okay with that. Those are herd animals they they can they can go in multiples and that's not going to be a problem and they clash with the rabbit and the horse so let's look at the ox so the ox and the rat actually combine so instead of repelling things that are coming your way embrace them so this is where we have to oh that was a rat not a rabbit sorry so the rabbit yes we already talked about the ox and the um excuse me the rat and the rabbit but the ox as you can see it is absolutely neutral to the ox so no problem with that rabbit whatsoever now the horse is a different story the horse has a harm and the harm means that one is a little bit more, I'm going to say sneaky because you don't see it coming. This is where maybe you made a, you know, uh, you know, an off color, you know, um, joke or something like that. And you thought you were just being funny and, and, you know, the other person kind of takes it in and maybe even years later, maybe even years later, boom, it comes back up and right in your face again, that it, 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 it seems very hurtful. So it's going to hurt you that it came back that, you know, you, you might have said something or done something that um, is very hurtful to, to another person, or you may actually be the person that's hurting the other person and vice versa. They may hurt, hurt you with words and let's hope, hope, hopeful it's just words. And what you need to do is take ownership. You know, if you are at fault, we, we absolutely, you know, would prescribe that you would take action to apologize, make amends wherever possible. Sometimes things are, ir, um, ir, you know, irreparable, but you definitely want to at least give your best goodwill to make that um, a little bit better. Um, okay, so what is the next question there, Alice? Okay, um, the next question is, in two years, my destiny cycle is going to change to the water tiger. Will mm -hmm. there be an improvement in the cycle? So lucky you that it's going to actually be a water tiger because next year is the water tiger. And you will get, if you will, a dress rehearsal of what is happening in 2022, the water tiger. There's actually a very, very, very unique setup that is happening. It's like a once in an 80, 180 year cycle that we have a, a water rat, water tiger in the year and the month. So it's double water tigers. And then we also have a unique combination with the feng shui or the flying star truthfully where the five um, is back in the center palace so it's back home 
And the other thing is we do not have any total eclipse of the sun in 2022. The last one is actually going to happen in December of this year. And then we, because of that, we're able to actually, with all of these different combinations, we'll be able to map out our year. So that's probably a little bit more information that you are asking for, but this is really good information that you have. Uh, mm -hmm. Then the second thing that I'd like to... Um, look at is let's just look at the tiger. So what do we know from her chart? We know that she has an ox, no, no difference um, there at all. And then we look at the rabbit, no rabbit at all in conflicting with the tiger. And then she has a horse in her chart. So you have what's called a three harmony potential, what we're going to need to do is bring in the dog. And how you do that is either in a dog year, which only comes around once every 12 years, using a dog month, which is the month of October every single year, or every 12 days is a dog. So it depends on what fire is to this particular person on whether or not we would want to even bring in the three harmony. So it looks like it's going to be a little bit calmer than what you sound like you're experiencing right now. But again, I only have three of your four animals that we're talking about, I think. Oh, maybe the rat is too. You have the rat in there. So you have, if you do have this rat in your chart, you actually have a clash between your horse and the rat. Now that one makes more sense, but the rabbit, it, it's not, it's not correct. So again, use this little table. I use it constantly. Um, and I encourage my clients to as well so that you can actually start pre-planning what's going to be happening in any certain time frame. And, you know, with the upcoming year, what I would advise all of you to do is look at this tiger pillar. Do you have any of these animals in your chart? If you do put it below, just tell me which animal that you have that you would have um, be uh, looking at as a either positive or maybe more challenging for 2022. And then let's see what we can do about it. Just because mm -hmm. there is clashes, punishments, destructions, and harms, does that mean that you put your head in the sand and go, oh, I can't do anything? That's the, that is, sorry, the dumbest strategy out there. No, this is about taking action and understanding how we, it's kind of the Aikido effect, right? That here's this energy and it comes in and you want to redirect it for your best benefit. So it's learning how to best, um, I'm going to say even manipulate the energy to your favor versus allowing the, the universe to whack just go, okay, you didn't plan for it. So here it is. You're going to get a life lesson. So that's how we want you to think about it is, no, we're going to take this, we're going to gain our own power and, and use these energies to our best benefit because they're all, they're all going to happen anyway. There's no way of avoiding it, not avoiding it for me, not avoiding it for you, not avoiding it for Alice or anyone else that is listening. You mm -hmm. are going to go through these cycles whether you like it or not, if you are living. Therefore, understanding them and, and playing to your best strengths is the way that you're going to come out on top. If you already go, oh, I got a, I've got a punishment or I got a dun -dun. If you throw your hands up, you're, 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 giving, you're giving up and we want you to stand up. So that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a very big difference. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Um, also, I just wanted to remind you that you can um, get that table um, with our free 30 day um, trial of the Time Blazer and I'll link them. Um, all the links will be added in the description below. Um, and that's just www.freetime or free 30 time trial.com. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so the next question is what's coming up next? for us and five elements group. Yeah, well, a lot of things, a lot of things actually. <laughs> like I said, you know, this month has been very much about releasing and letting go and even mm -hmm. going into the month of the pig which starts next Saturday 
is absolutely something that I really want everyone to focus on is just continuing to release and let go because this is where you're going to have the best opportunity, again, to make benefit of this very, very special conjuncture that is happening with that, with the energy in the space, mm -hmm. personal energy as in your chart and the space and, and how you can live that out. So that would be number one. Number two, um, you know, next week, at least we'll stay on at least for next week and do our same format that we were doing. Cause it's still the dog month. So I feel like we'll, we'll do go from there. Um, and then what we're going to be focusing on is we've got two, two big, big milestones here at five elements. And one is our book launch. And then that's in November. Should we show that slide or should we? Yeah. Okay. So, sure. um, yeah, I don't know. So, so anyway, um, that one is, this one is, uh, we, we just want you to save the date right now. It's going to be mm -hmm. on Amazon and it's going to be on November 21st, fingers crossed, everything um, going well there. And it's the water tiger. So it is a very different energy than it was from, from last year for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, what, what else, um, we, we, well, can we, can we just, um, backtrack just a little bit on, um, you talked about doing a lot of releasing and let, letting go work, um, which we just had a class on Monday, this, this past Monday, um, where you gave four incredible dates, um, to do that work. Um, one of the dates just passed, so there's three dates left. Mm -hmm. um, so we do have the replay up, and uh, Kathleen goes into way more detail um, about the energies that are coming and how to prep for 2022 by releasing and letting go um, the past 12 years, um, and a little sneak peek to our dress rehearsal, as she calls it, <laughs> um, for the next 12 years to come. Um, and so the link is right there, bit.ly forward slash unlock, and I'll link that again um, in the description below. Um, but definitely sign up for it. Um, watch the replay, there's three dates left. Um, and you know, missing one date um, is not a big deal since you still have these um, other dates to look forward to. And like one date alone is worth its weight in gold. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Yeah. So we're not even, you know, this is a very, very, very affordable um, uh, class. It's a little over <laughs> two hours long, but you're actually going to be doing work while you're listening to it. It's not one you're going to want to multitask because if you really want to release and let go, you need to pay attention and do the inner work. And that's what <laughs> this is all about there. You know, there's sort of a, um, I'm going to say a soft meditation that's woven in mm -hmm. there because you're going to be journaling as I'm talking along. And we actually go 12 years back because that's where we need to like wipe the slates clean of present to our past so that we come into 2020 too clean, if you will, with a clean slate, because when you do that, you're going to have more opportunities. If you, if you end up just bringing in uh, past patterns of trauma, or you're going to end up 10 xing that. What we would rather you do is really play full out next year in 2022, where you can then have the opportunity to, you know, really just map out your very big goals. Now, sometimes people talk about, oh, your three-year goal or your five-year goal. Imagine being able to really feel what it's going to be like. And you're going to feel it all. You're going to feel all of the things like I had mentioned before, the clashes, the combos, the the punishments and the destruction. You're going to feel all of those depending on what's in your chart. And again, this is the dress rehearsal. If you don't like what's happening, it because we're already going to be working on that energy moving forward. So, But the first step, this class is not about talking about what's happening next year, the first class that we need to do is clear the decks. And we got a, we got a, you know, some nice feedback on the, on the course mm -hmm. that people got a lot of value from it and people are still buying the course. So uh, if this is something that will suit you, we, we totally embrace you coming into our community because mm -hmm. we're going to be, we're, we're, we're a small team, but we're mighty is what we always say, as well as we love working with, you know, 
small small businesses and entrepreneurs who really want to make a difference in the world. And those are mm -hmm. the people we would love to have in our community because we know that, you know, the more goodness that we spread around the world, the the better the world is going to be. So we're not mm -hmm. going to collapse in the the light of, you know, all of the things that are happening as far as health or all the things that are happening as far as politics or the things that are happening climatically. Although that, you know, if you have to evacuate, you have to evacuate. Sometimes right. we don't have choices there, but we do have choices that we can make in our own businesses and our own lives. And one of the things is stop the negative thoughts, stop the negative patterns so that you can create new patterns that mm -hmm. are going to boost you up. So if you are someone that says, I can't, you don't understand. I, you know, I don't have enough. I, th that's a clear sign that you've got some negative patterning that you were probably because of your, your parents and, you know, people that l loved you, but that was their programming and that's all they knew how to teach you. Let's get rid of that slate, wipe it clean, and you get to start crafting your destiny the way you want it to be. That's mm -hmm. what the class is about. So anyway. All right. So I guess we're going to be back on Monday. We're going to start back with um, astrology. I'll give you a little sneak peek into, you know, what the next week will be bringing for us as far as, and we're getting, and again, I would highly recommend listening to Thursday. If you're, if you like to listen to a meditation, it will help mm -hmm. start releasing. And um, so, okay, I guess that's it for today. Alice, you got anything else? Um, I want to say have a happy and safe Halloween because that's, oh, that's on Sunday right. for uh, U.S. Um, residents, I guess. Oh, well, I think sure. it kind of goes around the world. Like, yeah, I, I tell you what, I have been. It's such in, a fun little I have holiday. Been in Asia <laughs> when it's been Halloween. I've been in Europe when it's been Halloween. It it's kind of a it kind awesome. of is a global <laughs> global thing right now or nice. or it has been for a while. Yeah, well if you're celebrating, have an amazing time. <laughs> yeah. And Day of the Dead too in honor of yes. the Day of the Dead on uh Monday the day after. So yep. Happy trick or treat. Um do more mm -hmm. treats than tricks. And um <laughs> we'll we'll see you next week. Have an amazing week, everyone. Bye see everybody. You. Take care. Bye bye.